Will rising fuel costs stop RV travel? Fuel costs are at an all-time high, like higher than I can remember them in my lifetime. Of course, we expect the cost of things to go up over time, but usually it's more of a slow increase versus a large overnight price jump. With the rising costs of both gas and diesel, will this stop RV travel this year? Stay tuned while we break down what this might mean for RVers and road trippers alike. We are Charity, Ben, Dakota, and Trinity. We decided we didn't want to wait for a life of adventure. So in 2017, we bought our first RV and set off to live a life of travel in the USA. We've visited over 38 states in three years and have many more to go. Follow along to learn all the best places to see, RV and travel tips, and much more. Part of our trip planning process is not only planning where we're going to go and where we're going to stay, but also creating a budget for our trip. There's a wise saying about not trying to build a house without first calculating the cost, and our approach to planning our RV trips is no different. I created a trip planning spreadsheet when we first started living RV life four years ago, and as the years have gone by, I've added more to my spreadsheet to help us not only in planning our trips, but also in budgeting for expenses along the way. Speaking of which, we have made the same template that I use to trip plan available for free. And you can download a copy at gratefulglamper.com forward slash planner. And I'll also link above and at the end of this video to a video on how to use this so once you finish watching this video, you can take a look at that video as well. Now, two of the largest expenses with RV travel are campgrounds and fuel. And while the costs of both of those have gone up in recent years, fuel costs have taken a big jump recently. So much so, like my eyes are just kind of bugging out of my head with calculating the potential costs of what this is going to mean for us in traveling in our RV this summer. So I'm going to give you some real world numbers and breakdowns in just a few minutes. But before I do that, I do want to mention and thank the sponsor of today's video, campgroundviews.com. Now is the perfect time to take advantage of a campgroundviews.com membership because they have just signed some contracts to add on more state parks with their virtual tours. And having those virtual campground tours in planning for your summer travel is invaluable. I cannot tell you how many times we've booked a site at a state park or a national forest only to realize there was a tree in the way of where our slide needed to go. Or maybe another site in another loop would have been a way better site. We recently saw some fellow RVers trying to get into a campsite at a state park and after 20 minutes of trying to back in, they gave up and left to find a different campsite. So Campground Views helps you know before you book what the site's going to be like so you're not booking blind. We do love this tool for trip planning and we think you'll like it too. So you can check out gratefulglamper.com forward slash campground views or click the link in the description below. Now back to our fuel cost discussion. I do wanna point out that no one, and I do mean no one, buys an RV for the excellent fuel economy that comes with owning one. <laughs> Whether you drive a gas or diesel drivable motorhome, or if you're towing a travel trailer or a fifth wheel, you do not get the best fuel economy when an RV is in the mix. Most drivable RVs get less than 10 miles a gallon and fuel economy when you're towing a towable can be all over the board, but suffice it to say, it takes a ton of fuel to travel with an RV whatever your travel style is. For example, our summer travels last year, we covered 6,781 miles. Fuel costs for diesel then were on average of about $3.20 a gallon, and our fuel costs for the miles we covered and some generator use were $3,099. We were on the road for approximately 75 days, and so the average was $41 a day. If we were to take the same route this year, our fuel costs with current diesel prices around $5 a gallon would be $4,843. That's a difference of over $1,700 more for the same route this year compared to last year. Thankfully this year, the route we've planned is less miles. And so our fuel costs this year, if diesel does not go over $5 a gallon, which who knows, 
will still be less than what they were last year, but this still puts a big pinch on our wallet and our budget. Now, if you are a regular budgeter, you know that the whole premise of budgeting is taking a set amount of money and allocating it to different categories and expenses. And if you're not a member of Congress, you probably know what balancing a budget means, which of course, that is you cannot spend more than what is allowed within the budget. So just for the sake of argument, if you have $1,000, you cannot spend $1,100 without then going into debt. Now we want to be clear that we are not personally advocates of going into debt for the purposes of travel. We encourage everyone to travel within their means and to make sure you not only have a trip plan, but a budget to go with that plan. So if fuel costs are going to take a larger part of the budget, this means other line items in the budget will have less money allocated to them and more being allocated to fuel. Maybe this means our viewers will be on the hunt for cheaper campgrounds with weekly or monthly rates. Maybe this means less paid excursions like that kayak trip or eating out at that fancy steakhouse that everyone always talks about. Maybe it means for some that RV travel routes will become shorter. And for some, it could mean RV travel is just no longer affordable. What could this mean for new RV sales? Could this be the thing that finally causes new RV sales to level off? Or could this be the year to purchase a used RV for a great price. Only time will tell, but one thing we have learned is that when fuel costs go up, the cost of almost everything goes up. Those groceries you buy at the store had to get trucked there somehow, and the cost to get them there just went up. So while all of us are going to have to expand our fuel budgets and trim back other line items in our budget to compensate for fuel, we also might just have to look at creative ways to lower costs in other areas like groceries too. So with any video about gas prices in general, we definitely would not want to end this video before that we give you a couple of things that we do and we use to save on fuel. But the biggest savings that we have been doing and using is using the TSD logistics card. Now, basically this is only for diesel engine vehicles. So if you're driving a gas engine, don't go away just yet. I've got a couple suggestions for you as well. But if you are driving a diesel engine truck or RV, the TSD Logistics is basically a fleet management program. So what we do is we use our TSD card when we fill up at travel centers and we save anywhere from 20 cents to 30 cents a gallon versus what the posted price is. This has literally saved us hundreds of dollars over the years on filling up our RV with diesel fuel. Now, if you have a gas engine RV or a gas engine vehicle that you're towing your RV with, Gas Buddy is a great app where you can kind of check what gas prices are, find the cheapest gas in your area. And if you are a good SAM member, you can save five cents a gallon at any Flying J or Pilot truck stops with the good SAM card as well. So great to have either one of those, whether you have a gas engine or a diesel engine, to save on fuel with the cost of fuel these days. Are fuel prices going to stop us from traveling this summer? Not as of yet, but how high are fuel prices going to go? Since God only knows, in the meantime, we're just going to keep moving forward and adjust our travel budget when and where we need to, to account for the higher cost of fuel. So what about you? Are the rising costs of fuel going to cause you to change your plans? If fuel costs keep rising, will you keep RVing? Will you slow down your travel plans and stay in one place longer? Let us know in the comments below your thoughts and what your plans are to compensate for these fuel price changes. So I'm going to put the video on how to use my trip planning and budgeting template right up here. And right over here, I'm going to put a playlist if you're a newer RVer that's going to help you in just getting used to RV life. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button here. We've got a lot of fun videos coming up. So if we don't see you on the road or at the campground, we'll see you in the next video.